Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and today I'm going to be showing you this guy. This is a pus caterpillar, and this is the most toxic caterpillar in the United States. So, this week, I found this guy actually on my doorpost, and I walked outside, and this was, by the way, this was an animal I didn't actually know that much about. I walked outside and I saw this blob on my door and you know I just kind of ignored it and I went off to school and I came back and it moved about six inches in the time that it took me to get back and I was like okay well it must be alive but I still kind of ignored it and me and my dad walked outside and he said it's been 30 years since I've seen one of those I got stung by one of those when I was a kid so I started trying to research this and this is actually the most venomous caterpillar in the United States. Has sent people to the hospital and is the most toxic sting from a caterpillar that you can get. And it is the pus caterpillar. So, some of the things that you'll experience after you get stung by one of these, you'll feel dizzy, you can actually kind of feel some of the effects of almost dehydration people have said. They say that the pain is equal to a fractured or broken burn or blunt force trauma. And most people, just because of the pain, will end up going to the hospital. Poison control has sent out tons of warnings about these caterpillars. So these guys, you'll actually only find them on certain plants, and they're not common. This plant that he's on right now is an African iris. And you'll find them on different kinds of ivy, You'll find them on elm, and you'll find them on oak, and I believe also roses. They're very specific on what kind of plant that they'll be on. It's kind of weird, but when you look at it, you're like, where are the stingers on it? It just looks like a hairy blob. Each of those hairs has the venom in it, and when it sticks into you, it's going to hurt really bad. You don't want to even brush up against it. It's going to hurt very very bad and when I saw it, I was actually like ooh ooh what's that like a furry little ball it kinda it's almost tempting to touch it's so weird and fuzzy looking you don't even see it as a caterpillar it's very weird looking but definitely you want to avoid these caterpillars at all costs if you see one don't touch it do not touch it it will ruin your day ruin your day and when you do find them even though they're uncommon and rare normally there will be more in that area so you definitely have to watch out if you see one of these one thing amazing about these caterpillars their color variants are amazing they can vary from almost a grayish white to almost solid black and this one is kind of a tan with a rust colored back which is what you're going to find here mostly in this area but depending on the area that you find them in, they'll be a different color. And the first one that I saw was more gray than brown, but this one is the largest one, and it is brown. You probably heard me say that I've got that I saw more than one of these caterpillars, and that is for sure. I'm going to put him right there. And there's one left. And you're going to see that they're all different sizes. So guys, the basic point of this video is to warn you about this caterpillar. If you see anything that looks like a weird hairball with these kind of colorations, definitely do not touch it. It will be extremely painful. Most venomous caterpillar in the U.S. I mean, that's, that's going to be painful. You already know that. So, it's a very cool animal. It turns into actually a very pretty moth. But it's also a very amazing caterpillar. Very cool and definitely not common. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It is starting to pour on us and we gotta get out of here. But thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like and I will see you guys next time.